Welcome everybody to today's Tech Talk. My name is Kyle Groves, Senior Technical Specialist and EIT with ATG USA. Today I'm here and really excited to talk to you about a new tool from CTC Software in their Sim Project Suite. It's called Label Genie. What it does is it helps us automate our labeling, and it can do this through our current or our entire project's worth of drawings. We also have the ability to go through and do uh, multiple layout layouts or individual layouts within those. And then we also have a bunch of different AutoCAD and Civil 3D object types that we can go through to create these labels off of. Today, I'll keep it pretty short and sweet. We'll start off by using Civil 3D line and curve labels, and we're gonna anchor these objects to polylines using the segment uh, between vertices for those. As we go over to the uh, formatting tab, we don't have a lot to do here since it is a civil 3D label and our style has already produced that information for us. So let's go ahead and add those to our drawing. And we can see pretty clearly that all of these different layouts have been labeled because we did that in model space. And I've just put down uh, my legal description style labels on all of the lots inside this particular file. But it's not just about putting down civil 3D labels. We can also put down AutoCAD based labels too. So now what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and choose the rest of those um, line curve and mText files for the rest of this project. And now this time I'm going to put together a mText label. Still looking for that same set of polylines. Uh, we're now going to put them down on the centroid of that object, effectively the geometric center of it. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to build an AutoCAD field to make sure that it's much easier for us to put these together. So head over to our formatting tab and see what that's gonna look like. And now I can see that I have all of these other pieces of custom text and all of those anchor object uh, information. That is my AutoCAD field, exact same list I would see if I were to go through the mText insert field object. So I'm just gonna have some static string text that says area, and then a field representing my object area of that particular line. Again, lots of those to choose from. But when we go now to the bottom of our dialog here, we'll see that we have all kinds of different options related to our formatting. So I can choose my text style based off whatever's in my drawing. I've got uh, annotative behavior, justification, text height, width, capitalization, all that stuff. Um, gives me really, really flexible control over what those labels are going to do. And obviously, again, we have an AutoCAD M text, so let's go ahead and add those. Now when I look here in my drawing, I can see that those area labels are taking effect, but let's take a look here real quick at that northeast corner um, here. My areas are different than some of my other more rectangular lots. Also, the area label in, um, for the southeast one of those is almost on top of the segment label. Auto great Label Genie is very awesome at putting these labels together for us, but because we have all those static parameters, it's just gonna put them all down. So this tool isn't necessarily designed to do 100% of our labeling for us, but it's gonna get us really close, maybe 80%. So let's now go ahead and take a look and prove that we did in fact get those other drawings labeled up with that same command, and even poke through some of those different layouts.